Welcome back to Dice... No. Welcome back to Factorio. My name is Nilaus and uh, we are back here in uh, our wonderful base. And uh, the first thing I need to do is because... Uh, oh my god, some people have been uh, losing sleep over this. I, I fixed the uh, misaligned robot. So, alright, alright. We uh, <laughs> That was uh, something that really rubbed a lot of people the wrong way. So, of course, I did that just to, uh, to fuel the engagement of the video. That's just how I am. What um, what we ended up last time was I realized me realizing that oops I had to sort of uh, build something here that uh, could fill up the train and then upon further introspection reflection maybe even then I realized that what I need to do is actually change this part. So there's been um, numerous comments about why are you not using artillery trains? They can take 100 uh, artillery shells instead of the, only the 40. And my argument has always been well I need these out here to shoot. And I also need to bring other stuff. But the fact of the matter is that now I actually should, in my base up here, let me just jump out, I should stop making artillery shells. Because of course I should. And that will be up here. Let's uh, stop that one. Um, hmm, how do we stop this the easiest way? There we go. That's easy. Then stop that and also stop that. There we go. That should uh, should have quickly stop that whether you want to do that yourself that's up to you but now we have a dedicated location so there is no reason to start building it here we might get a few things uh, but i don't want to have this as well. that means these trains out here will now be purely for replenishment and not for actually artillery so artillery shells should now be built on an artillery train so let's make an artillery train. I know that I don't have one, but hey, I just have some uh, new things up here that are not really doing anything. So how about I build artillery trains in this location? That's not a train. That is a train. So I will build. Yeah. Yeah. Copy, paste. What do we need? Uh, that's kind of a lot. That's kind of a lot of lot of, of things. That is just absolutely insane amounts of everything. Oh, it's because it's uh, it's beak it's heavily beaconed. <laughs> okay, we'll just take ten of each. All right, just make sure that we don't overdo it, and this will be fine. How much does it take? Oh, it's already built majority of it, and I will need make a little location here that says, "Atura trains no more than well, hundred might be a lot, but let's say four. Four seems like a good number. How many do we have?" We probably already have a lot of them. Well, two of them. Three, two. What are we missing? There. Oh, really? The engines? How are engines running out? Huh, that's weird. But they are also just really, really slow. I wonder why this one is so busy. Eh, you know what? What I, I think I'll do is I'll take these three and put them up here. There. And all that crap needs to go. Why am I spending time on this? Okay, I do not want rockets. Why do I keep having rockets in my inventory then? There. And other rockets. These rockets, also zero. And then I can build here. And that one. And there. And then these can be used for something else instead. Just casually like this. And then we can build it. I am not going to be updating the blueprint because, well, should I update the blueprint for this? Then I'm going to build this part. It's still like pretty absurd numbers here. I just take the last digit out of everything. Got it. And back to this one. We'll be set up to a train maximum four. Good. And then we have two extra that we can use for whatever else we come up with that we think is reasonable to build. These will go out. All right. Do we have these tra damn trains now? Uh, maybe not. Well, I'll just request them now. There. I'll take four of these. Yes, thank you very much. And let's see if that works. 
That uh, was uh, rather cumbersome, but I need to also make a change over to the output stations and that means they all have to be changed. That's kind of sad, but I have to do it. So I'm going to go out here and fix the first one. So what I want to do now is I want to have a train station. Did I get my... Yeah, I did get them. Whew, good. All right. So what I'm going to do now is I am going to go out here and change it so that I have two stations. One for supply and another one for... Uh, it, I don't really like it, do I? I don't really like this. Hmm. If I could make two stations right next to each other, that would be so much better. And then have different conditions. That would actually be really cool. Huh. Let's try that. Let's give that a shot. So but what I mean is basically like take a station like there, which will then be slightly shifted downwards from the other one. I'll do that. And hello, train. Good. You are kind of in the way, aren't you? Yes, you are. Um, there is really no way that you are not in the way. I can't get you off the track yet. There you go. Okay, so we are going to take a copy of this because I'm probably going to need it for something at some point. And then I can just delete it for now. And I'm going to make another station. So one will be... I should have these as being two different names. One should be hmm, like this, and then the artillery shell. Artillery shell, because that's where I'm bringing in the shells for. And the other one should have basically the same name, but it should be, do I need that dash in the middle? No, that'll be what is the most logical thing that most represents that. It's for repair stuff, yes. There's for repair stuff and there's for ammunition. Those are the two conditions that I want to get into this train and they'll be slightly off. So the first one is going to hit exactly the right locations. Uh, that will be for, actually that's incorrect. Did I do that correctly? Yes, the front one will be for supplies because that's the original and the back one here will only be for artillery shells. So now I need different conditions for opening these. Basically, I want the top one to be conditioned on, what was T? T was uh, robots, yeah? Uh, that's basically all of this one. That is going to enable, you know, do I need to have that here? Yeah, I kind of do. Uh, this is, where's my input? My input is, Go and come. Oh, it actually gets input from from the robo port, doesn't it? Yes, it does. And then I bring it onto that one just in case. Here. All right. This one is outputting nothing. Uh, these are all. This condition is false. So all the conditions are false. That means no enabling. The other one is just going to enable. That's just setting the X and this one says L. Okay, this one just skips the X part and then goes straight to the L part. There you go. Pretty good. Hey, and this one now says if there is less than. Oh, this one is true because there's no artillery. Hmm. Well, there actually is artillery. It's just not in the rated robot network. It's in here. You're now monitoring exclusively the artillery. The artillery is 24 shells. And then I'm basically saying, is it less than 10? Uh, how much do I put in this? Put 10 for each. So I could definitely say if it's less than 20. Yes. Then I just set one L. And that will be the signal to enable the first station. This is the artillery station. And this is the signal to enable the second station. This has that. Yep. All right. I think this is, might actually work. And let's make a bit of a light for each of them. Um, how do I make a light that signifies that it's this one's open? Yeah. That and that 
This will be used when L, which is a condition for the station to open, is greater than zero. What? How is this one? What? Oh, right. I just changed it to being less than 20. But it's not less than 20. Okay, so we have 24. What if I do that? All right. Now, now it's on. Yes, this and it's good. I think this is absolutely brilliant. I love it. I, I hope it works. I'm not sure, but I hope it works. I don't need to have these lights, do I? Not really. I can put the light up here. Yeah, let's do that. Copy, paste. So this one's also when L is greater than zero. So those are the two conditions. One is measuring the content of the robot network. And the other one is monitoring just the content of the boxes. Yeah, I think that might work. Now, what I'm going to need to do is make two different trains. And here's here's also the part. The train that we have now will also unload the artillery because it's still within the range of the artillery. But now the artillery trains will only unload the artillery. So what I need to do is make my artillery train that I have built or have potential to build. You know what? You can go You can go back home, my friend. And then I'm just going to get a, stay, a train. Here we go. And build my artillery train. One, two, three, four. And... Uh, you know what? I can actually pretend that I have something in here. Look at that. It's not empty. There. Perfect. And I'm going to get some power. You will now go to the one that's called reload. Go. This will go to the reload and stay until full cargo. And nothing else. No. And then it'll go to this one where it will stay until either... Time has passed 30 seconds, inactivity, or empty, right? It just don't go there too far. But this is also one of the reasons why I don't like this. Look how slow it's going. Super slow. And it goes into this location. That is perfect. And I will rename the station in here because this station is no longer, can, should no longer be that. That should be adding that one on top. There. And this one is now going purely... Oh, look at that. It's working. It is working. Let's have a look. But you, as you can see, it is an extremely slow train. So what I need to do as well is make sure that I have um, multiple of these trains. Many, many more trains. Hmm. And the beauty of this is that it will actually... It will actually start shooting as well. So that both of those will shoot at the same time. Now it unloads. Let's monitor if this situation is correct. This one shuts off. And this will wait until either... wonder why the 5 seconds of inactivity does not count. Why does the 5 seconds of inactivity not count up? Huh. That is really weird. Why is it not inactive at this point? That seems... No, I don't want there. Ah, oh, there, there. Okay, so two seconds of inactivity, because if it doesn't start shooting, then go home. Oh no, I'm, I'm, ow, you, oh, no, I'm still in the train. Woo. Ah, um, this is pretty good, I think. Yeah, this is, uh, this is pretty good. So, how, what does that mean for everything else? Well, it means that everything else has to be, uh, redone. Uh, first of all, I need to have these two trains. They will need to have different locations. They will, oh, they are going to the repair one. No, but they're also not... What? Ah, yes, yes, yes. These do not exist anymore. They will now go to these stations until either time passed, inactivity, two seconds, or empty. And then I'll have two of those trains, two of those stations, yeah? So they can go to multiple in with before going home. And empty, right? And this one's two. Great. And this one should not be... Yeah, see, full cargo, it'll never have full cargo anymore because I've stopped producing it. So what am I not going to get here? I should actually have it... Other conditions. I'll just disable this for now. 
I will have item count. And then let's count on what it actually should have. 400, 200, 100, and 50. 400 what? 400 repair packs. All right, so this one should have 400 repair packs. Repair packs equal to a greater than 400. Yes. And item count and item count. That was uh, robots probably. Robots equal to a greater than 200. And uh, item count. I'll do another one. And I'll check out what is the last one that was uh, uh, lasers there 100 maybe greater than or equal to greater than or equal to and then the last one was um, power poles greater than or equal to 50 and then I'll just check if those numbers are correct uh, it's 400 200 150 perfect it is correct then I can do this one manual. Whoop, bit good. And the other one has the same station as well. Great. They are now waiting to go out, but there is only one place they can go out. That's this one, because that is already uh, that's the one that's converted. And now what I need to do is I need to convert. Luckily, the change was only basically only this part has to be changed, which is super nice. That makes it a lot easier to send out my robot ports or my, ro my drones here to fix all of these ones. That's not luckily something we don't have to deal with. That's just something I can deal with. So let's uh, do that. And then when we come back, uh, we're actually going to disable these two so that they are not uh, going out because we want to see them go out uh, fully operational. I also want to take my go back and maybe make a few more trains here. Did you, by the way, have a uh, little... Uh, do I want that? Do I want to have it there? Yes, I have to. I can only have two trains here. Oh, that sucks. Because uh, this, otherwise it'll get stuck. So I can only have two trains at this location. That means, hmm. That means this is, this will be either having zero or one. That means there can only be, ever be one assigned here. That's not good. We need to change this to be a more advanced location here. Mm. Yeah. Yeah, that's definitely has to be just a normal provider station. So let's just take any any old provider station and then just copy that because hey, I've done it so many times that it should be the same for this. First of all, the content of a train is 400. I want a maximum of two trains. There we go. And this should then be called artillery. There, and then the only thing we need is <clears throat> which one is going to be connected to the train again or the station again? That one, the, of course, the one with the L that is here. And it then also kind of needs to be going. So it has 240, 240, and how much is on a train? 400. But this one should then be not, it should be way more. You should just get 40 each. There we go. I want to make sure that I can fill up the train. Is that smart? Probably not. I just wanted it in here, but I... You know what? You know what? This is not how I want it. Oops. Because I do want a low number here, and I want the storage on the other part. So, that's all good. What I am going to do is I'm going to take all of this out, because I'm simply going to do it in another way. This is kind of going to be really silly to, uh, to look at. Here it is. Are you ready? There you go. Just get two trains. That was not difficult. <laughs> uh, what I then need to do is actually... Yeah, I don't need to know how much is in here. I was considering making a digital display. If you want me to make like a re real uh, digital display, then uh, let me know because I can do that. Like one of these things here. It's kind of fun to do. Uh, I think I can do it. And then uh, like one of those with numbers, the digital numbers and stuff. It's kind of fun. Um, but it's also something like, I don't know, if I want to spend a full episode on that, because I'm, I'm not the fastest on these kind of things. Cool. This will simply be two. It'll always just have two trains. And yeah, so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to set up another train. And then I will be setting up all the other stations. I will also be setting these to manual, because I don't want to send them out until I fix them.
Let's do that and then be back. So we're here and uh, everything has been updated. It should be good. We have uh, two trains in here. There we go. This is our new train coming in, being refueled. And hopefully it will have two locations out here that it can go to. Let's see how that works. Let's follow this train. I think the other train is uh, also coming around. I think I said it correctly. So where are you going? You are going to... Wow. A random one. Huh. That's funny that this is the first one. Uh, let's see. Oh, no, no, it's not actually funny. That's uh, making sense because they still, they're still they still full anyway. So it's it's actually all good. It's all good. What about the other train, though? And it's it's getting harder to see which one are going in. And I will also go up here. In my home base, I will set these trains there. And I'll set them to automatic. And I'll set you to automatic as well. There. Does it work? Uh, I don't feel like you're... Okay, that's because none of these stations are open. That's good. That's also kind of what we expected. So what are we going to do? In the meantime, we are going to build a few more. I have a, a number of other things that I want to take care of on this episode as well. So don't worry. Oh, yeah. You know, I need uh, stuff out here. Yeah, I need that. Doesn't quite work without this part. And still have decided not to do this as a formalized build. Oh, and I got to research. There you go. You are coming in. And these are working. Let's find our artillery train and see how that works. Did I get... Oh, no. We did Okay, let's... Uh, let's see if we can... F okay, the best way of doing it is this way. And then I can see how much. Okay, the 23 was either unloaded or shot out here. That's good. And what do we then need? Where's the other one? I, th I thought I had two. Huh. Okay, okay. Uh, heading to this one. This is heading out. So we'll follow this and see where you're going. I wonder where. Where are you going? Oh, you're... Okay, crossing down there. That's excellent. That should be interesting to see. In the meantime, I am going to uh, head over to the next thing I want to fix. Because uh, the next thing we want to fix is the annoyance of having, having some things that are always... Always warning us, but really not a true warning. So let's get rid of that warning because it's not a true warning. Um, that, that's just really annoying to have that. Ah, man, I forgot. Now I have to get all of those down there. And we... Yeah, that's that one. Uh, where's my train? The train should be... There should be an artillery train heading down here. Where might you be? There you are. There you are, little artillery train. We're going to keep an eye on this and see how that works at this location to see if it just unloads or if it also starts shooting. So let's zoom in so we can see. Because it is getting quite overwhelming once you start seeing it actually shoot. Oh, it's not even going to shoot. Oh, it's just unloading a bit. And then heading back. Heading back. Eh, for resupply. We are going to absolutely improve this. Ooh, also maybe this is kind of not looking so hot. Let's go down here and try to fix some things with my newly refueled Spidertrons. And I wonder how much... Okay, so this is definitely a a number. <laughs> if there's 16,000 here, that means the trains that were... The Spidertrons that were baiting there were definitely full. Oh, I'm here. All right, so what I want to do at this point is if you can see that this can operate at 3,000 per minute, it'll just slightly overuse some of the other ingredients, but I'm just tired of this one just always being there. So what I want to do and uh, is to simply unleash it and allow it to, uh, to flow faster. The way we do that is simply by making this one a 2 to 2 splitter instead. Do we have a 2 to 2 splitter? Well, I do have it. There it is. Somehow I can't remember how to do these anymore. And what I then need to do is just take that out and go with, oh no, uh, clip it. And clip there. Damn, why is it? Really? Really? Like that? That is disgusting. Ah, there must be a way. There must be a way. There is always a way. There. So what the hell are we doing here? Well, 
what we're doing is we are making sure that what we have here is uh, whatever we get on this location can be sent out. Right. So if this one can, this one can now be producing slightly faster because what happened was that if at any point this one gets stalled, then it can never catch up again. Now this looks like it's not really going to work, but it actually is going to be just fine. These will empty quickly enough. So you can see that just another one launched and it still had 600 in here. This one is launching and this still has 500 in here because it simply couldn't get rid of it fast enough because it was all constrained to one build, which is of course what it should be in the grand scheme of things. But it also meant that it would never be able to catch up. So yeah, that one is, um, is now getting better. Look at that, we got two full fat belts coming out here. And this is at 1K, that means it's now turned off. Now it's less than 1K. And these will now be... I want to see that this is getting off the offline here. Good, that works. Where is our white spidertrons? Are they getting built? Yeah, they're gonna, they're built some. Built, 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 built. I want to see that building so we can get this one right working. Uh, one more thing I'd like to do is this warning here is actually kind of misguided, kind of misguided in, in a sense that it tells us, it doesn't tell us anything that the production has stopped. It tells us way after the production has stopped. And this is actually a very late warning. And maybe some of you have commented on this as well before, but it's because once this one blinks, maybe it doesn't mean anything because it's just like that between between two train loads and maybe that's not really a big deal and all that good stuff uh let's see is this one but the problem is that if this truly is a warning that something has stopped then i know it way too late and that is a problem uh, and I, I that means i respond way too late and by the time i respond i realize that oh i've simply drained all my stockpile of steel and i'm just not producing enough steel then it takes an absolute insane amount of time for me to get steel operational again Let's get all of that done and then have you... Wow. This is not what you're supposed to do. But let's uh, move back in here so you don't accidentally kill more than you have to. Alright, we should see trains coming into these locations. Huh. They are, which one is this? Oh, this is the, uh, the, the refueling train. That's good because it's also faster. And I'll get in here. There is now a chance that I'll also send another train in here. Uh, if... Yeah, so this refueling train is good. Oh no, what are you doing? That's not good. It doesn't skip that one. It'll get stuck until it can go to some other one. Sorry, that is just really bad. Since you're only refueling, then that should not be a problem anymore. Let's get the other station in here. And you are here. I'll take that out. I can't have that being done there now this one is is catching up here okay so what i want to do is uh now in terms of these warnings i don't think that's a good example i'll take any other ones let's take the yellow one for example let's go to the yellow signs because we also saw the yellow signs flickering a bit i think that's yellow signs it is yellow signs let's go here all right so let's talk a bit about what the warning is going to look like and do i have i have some warnings some noise makers that is a really useless uh, blueprint i have here Okay, this is this is what I want to see. Look at that. Now we have both our artillery. Come on. Come on, artillery. Oh, This has the same issue. This has the same issue. Yep. Yeah. yeah. Okay, so they're going to have to go back and forth, unfortunately. For the time being. Because they won't skip. If the station was... Was... Um, if the station was closed, then it would skip it. But this station is just destination full. It's limited, and then it doesn't skip it in the in the order. All right, but we are having a lot of good shots down here. Well, that's also a good opportunity for us to keep moving. And build one more. Because we want to get make sure that all of this gets done as much as possible. All right, we are getting a massive attack coming in here, but luckily we have uh, replenishments and we should also see another train coming into this location. I want to see that train coming in. Are we arrived? We are arrived. We have arrived. So this is... I'm doing two things at once. I think I'll just do this part and just see how that works uh, down here. 
I want to see another train coming in. Get another station operational. That should be now. This one should be available. I don't know what's coming in. This is the artillery train. If we look at this, it's loading really quickly and it's already out. wonder if I could have one more train on this line. I, if I have one more train, then I'm forcing one more one to get stuck out there. That might not be the worst of cases. Yeah, I think I could do that. I think I could put one more train in. Wow, this one keep keep going. Until you can't keep going, then that's that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna keep going on this and keep expanding because man is it nice to see all of this area being gradually cleared. And it's really quickly to do it. I mean <clears throat> granted all this time and we spent on it already. Here comes the refueling train that gets us robots and refueling and all that stuff and also gets us just a few but at this point now this train no longer has anything else this train is empty of artillery shells and that's how it should be it's never going to be taking care of artillery shells because that will do the artillery train will take care of that speaking of that where is my artillery train why are you not coming in where are they is that an artillery train? yes it is let's monitor this one and that should be good should be good. This should be really active because there's uh, active things in this uh, area. So let's see. Come on, artillery train. You can do it. You can do it. Start rotating. Start rotating. Come on. Come on. No one. Really? Is nothing in it? Oh, there's nothing in it. Oh, there, 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 there. And they're also shooting. Yeah. Yes. Brilliant. That's going to be a massive barrage. So the artillery trains are helping to shoot, which is kind of what I want. And then pivot. And this one moves at, for some reason, out oh, 30 seconds. So it does have a chance to get in there, but um, it's actually not intended to be doing a lot of the shooting. It's more intended to just be unloading, to be honest. But hey, if it works, it works. And you are unloading stuff. Perfect. I wonder if we can build one more. I mean, I'm, I'm getting I'm getting really hooked on this part. Just want to build more. Keep going. Probably, I mean, at some point it won't be able to have enough resources and I'll have to send it back. But hey, until then, this actually could be connected. I don't think I'm... I would not lose much if I just cut it through here. So let's do that. There. That's not much we lose. You keep going. Keep going, keep going, keep going. And where are we having So this is also more of a long-term thing. So even though it right when we set it up, it's not gonna be super quick. You can see that one is still white. So it wants a train coming in, and the trains are coming in very slowly because they have to go all the way back up here and refuel and go in again. I don't really mind that. I don't really mind because it's it's a yeah, as I said, it's it's a long-term effort. Yeah, and then I will build some kind of some kind of something there, if I can, and then that will be definitely be it when it comes to. Yeah. Okay, so the trains for refuel refueling or repair packs and stuff they're way faster, and that's good, but the. Artillery trains are currently a lot slower. That's not a big surprise because they, they are both slower trains and they're the ones that be, will be used the most out here. But with all of this done, then I think we're pretty good. Oh, let's make sure we get this. And then with this, yeah, this is the refueling train. So make sure that we have repair packs. It's also really nice to know that I know that the this train is faster. So this train will come in here faster. And make sure that by the time the artillery comes in, there are drones, there are repair packs, there are extra uh, uh, extra laser turrets and all that good stuff. So let's go here and back in there for replenishment. And we now have yellow. This is the last thing I want to do. Look at that. The white one is no longer there. But yellow is for some reason giving us a warning. Now, is this a true warning? Well, if we look at it like this, everything is coming in at 
decent rate. There's no problem of any of the inbound resources. <laughs> it's such a weird waterfall of, of uh, things. And it's the, it's the reason why what happened was that the train, as this one reached 32,000, the train comes in because it can now fully load. It comes in here, loads the 32,000, and then takes it out of this. So this drops below the threshold of 32,000. When it drops below that threshold, then it gets a warning because it says, hey, I don't even have a full load available for a train. Is that a good warning? Yeah, not really. What could be a good warning that would be really immediate is here. Monitor the belt. Monitor the belt. Read the belt, not enable. Uh, yes, and then I have to do this because I can't, I can never remember how this works. Uh, that is, I think I'll do the hold. Yeah, so this gets us how much is currently on that tile. Eight. And then we could just see definitely no volume, definitely no play, but show alert. And what I could do is I could say if mm, anything or everything, it is true if there are no inputs. If they're false. If this one is greater than, no, equal to zero. No, I don't like it. There, yeah. equal to zero. Throw an alarm. The alert settings is yellow, uh, empty belts. There. Would that work? Uh, let's look at it here. Let's look at that one. Empty belt. And then I should actually, ah, okay. I can actually do this way better. I can do this. And then I can do that. That's way, way better. Way more descriptive. Let's try again. There. That means the belt of yellow is empty. The yellow still has enough signs, but for some reason, one of the inputs have died. And that's, I think this, I don't need this anymore. I think this uh, is a better indicator for problems. <laughs> now this one is done again. Damn. Where are you at? Also, the, there's another advantage. If I do this and click, then I know that there's a globally a production and then I have to go like, where was that white science again? It's out here. And it's not actually a problem. Now this is, it's, it's getting a bit more confusing, but that's because it's still filling up the train. There must have been a train that just came in here and picked up whatever was left. This is how I want it. As long as these belts are not empty, then everything should be fine. That's kind of, I think that should have these kind of uh, monitors. I'm just gonna copy this monitor here and uh, get that on some of the other belts for sciences. For example, we can easily scoot over here for, to the purple signs. I think that's a very valuable place to do it because purple signs is also one of those that really has a tendency to run out. I actually checked the mini, the mini map to see if I was it was safe to run across the track. And if I look at this, then we basically have exactly the same issue here. And the only difference is I should have different indicators here. And that indicator should be that one. And this one should be, maybe I should actually have the common one here. That's it's something with belts. So I know that the belt is empty and then I know that one of the belts is empty. And when I hover over it, I can see it. That's probably nicer. That's probably nicer. So I'm going to set this up and remove this make it over to the yellow one what am i doing here i'm copying this so i don't have to move there that should that should solve it good that was that one and what else do we need to also do wow i haven't even fixed stone bricks yet how have i not fixed stone bricks that is weird i really should fix the stone bricks because we're definitely going to need more stone bricks as well and uh, let's uh, set this up for the other sciences as well uh, that was yellow and we can't really set it up for the for uh our white science unfortunately because that is that's now having way too much capacity 
Yeah, so that doesn't... Work. Whoa, something has been deciding to come in here. But that's good. It's just getting repaired immediately. Nice. Right. Uh, this one's still missing. But that's... Uh, I, 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 really, I love this defense, defense network system thing. You are going to go down here just for a bit. And that's a massive attack. That must be an, uh, a good attack coming in here. Or a, a good barrage. But it's coming in and it's, it's requesting a... And as you can see, all of this area that we have started on working on now is completely clear. This is being cleared. And then we'll just work our way over here. We're going to work from that side. We're going to work here. That's just something we're going to get started on. I don't think it's going to be a big deal. Uh, I don't think that once we've cleared it out initially, it's really not going to be a problem for, uh, for us moving forward. Right. I'm going to take this and then I am going to jump on over to the blue signs and get that. Where the hell's the blue signs? And that is now the blue signs done here. And we should then find blue signs is there. I have two blue signs for some reason. I'm actually going to make sure that it's exactly the same place. There. Good. Measuring. And then we have the red and... Where are they? They are they're like some weird place, those red and Oh they're up there. Ah right, okay, okay, okay. That's easy. We'll we'll get that. I'll take you. And we're just gonna jump on up. That's a really simple one. Don't get run over by this train. And we are up here. This is green circuits. Green circuits for green science. And the green science is up here. Damn, I love this uh, design here. Hey, oh yeah, that's actually a double one. A double one. But that's okay. I'll just do that one instead as well. Copy, paste. And they are now hold and read. So they're not stopping. And I'll change the signal here to be green. And then I'll take this because that's going to be the same for the yellow one, uh, the red signs up here as well. And then we have at this point monitored all of the belts leading out of the signs. So if for whatever reason these should these should always be full, but if for whatever reason they're not full, we will get a warning. And this is one of those things where when you set up this data warnings and then you set looking at the monitor and it never goes red. Well, maybe that's a good sign. It is a good sign, absolutely. But I can't do it for the uh, white signs yet because it needs to stabilize. And that's what uh, we're working on right now, making sure that these are launching a bit faster than they actually would like in order for us to catch up and be sort of in a stable situation. Should be coming in soon for that. Let me just check on this. Where are we? And this location, I have 31,000. So it might actually allow this one to come in again. Uh, where is the indicator? Nope, it's not open yet. This one is waiting to go back. But how much do we have? We have 41,000. So once this one actually goes back, it's not actually be being requested out again uh, anytime soon. It's... How much do we want? We want 60,000. So it has to drop below 38,000 before it actually gets another train in. And if I look at this and this, yeah, it has to drop below 31, uh, 28,000 before opening up again. So it'll be taking a while and I am good. So that was, uh, that was that episode. I am, um, I'm pretty happy with what we did. We have uh, fixed, well, changed, improved, I would say our military or artillery out outpost and they seem to be working the uh, the replenishment and the uh, the other trains are coming in the artillery trains are now coming in and obviously it's going to take quite a while for them to go up here and replenish and go out uh, when we are in the expansion mode but when we're in the stable mode then it'll only be sort of to suppress any expanding biters getting closer and then of course the absolute big mayhem will be when i do the range ex uh, expansion but that i won't do until we've have a perimeter and a secure base all the way around. Cool. So thank you very much for watching. And uh, if you want to see me make a digital display for, for, for numbers, for whatever, then uh, let me know. And also uh, good ideas are welcome for upcoming episodes. My next big task will be starting to upgrade towards the double science per minute. But I think we just have a few things that need to be stabilized before we can get into that. Thank you very much for watching. Until next time, take care and stay effective.